Well, it looks like Intel's entire 10th generation Comet Lake CPU lineup has allegedly leaked out along with the specifications of the 13 different SKUs. The Comet Lake family is the continuation of several refreshes of the 14 nanometer Skylake architecture that we've gotten since 2015. And it looks like the latest one to receive it will be the 10th gen family. So the lineup was posted by Computerbase, who mentioned that the original source is from a Chinese-based tech forum. It looks like you won't be getting any significant changes on the new lineup since it's still technically based on the same architecture as Skylake, along with the added improvements from the process node. The 10th gen lineup makes use of the 14 nanometer plus 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 node, which is one more plus than the Coffee Lake refresh. Now coming to their lineup, with the top tier parts are the Core i9 series, which now feature 10 cores and 20 threads. According to the data sheet, the Core i9 series with 10 cores starts at $409 US dollars and goes up to $499 US. Whereas the current i9-9900K, which is 8 cores and 16 threads, can be found in the retail ranging from $490 to $530, depending on what day of the week and where you're looking. So this is quite surprising. Now AMD bringing 12 cores and 24 threads down to $499 might be the reason Intel is bringing such competitive prices with 10th gen. Moving on to the Core i7 SKUs, we have two 8 cores and 16 thread parts which retail for $339 and $389 US. These parts are priced lower than their 9th gen predecessors for around $100 less. The Core i5 SKUs include four 6 cores and 12 thread parts, which start at $179 US and go up to $269. This price is pretty much in line with what Core i5 6 core parts currently cost, but do note that the Core i5 9400, which retails for $179 US, has no hyper threading, whereas these models do. Lastly, we have the four core i3 SKUs, which feature four cores and eight threads finally, which is a good move for this lineup. And these start at $129 US and end up at $179 US. Now it is worth pointing out that some of these models have specifications that do match up to Intel's flagship SKUs from previous generations. Those retailed at over $300 US, while the competition has moved the SKU down to the sub $150 tier. I want to take a moment to talk about the Core i9 10900KF, which is a horrible name. It's just really a mouthful. It's going to be really hard to get that one out, especially if you're going to ask for the part. But it is rumored to be the flagship SKU of their lineup, featuring 10 cores and 20 threads. And based on the pricing, it will be competing directly against the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X, which offers a total of 12 cores and 24 threads. The chip is clocked at 3.4 GHz base with a 5.2 GHz single core turbo clock, and the chip features 20 MB of cache, a 105 watt TDP, and a pricing of $499. Intel still won't be matching AMD's higher core count on the mainstream platform, but looking at recent AMD Ryzen 3000 series reviews, we note that Intel still has a leading position when it comes to single core and gaming workloads thanks to sheer clock speed. So the 10 core is expected to, well, extend that lead further, maybe. In addition to all the details, the datasheet also lists down a new socket for the 10th generation lineup. This new socket is rumored to be the LGA 1159, so that would point to no compatibility with existing LGA 1151 motherboards. This also means that we'll be looking at a new chipset. Internally, Intel already has the 400 series chipset ready for their mobile platform, so we should be expecting Z490 series on the new motherboards. There's also native support for DDR4-3200 memory, which is an upgrade over the DDR4-2666 on the existing Coffee Lake refresh lineup. There are no details as to when the lineup launches, but we can expect it to be later this year. If the leaks turn out to be true, it appears that Intel is taking the launch of the Ryzen 3000 series very seriously. But if you're in the market, are you going to hold out for this, or does Ryzen 3000 series deliver enough to not wait? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you and the next one.